Hi everyone, my name is Victor and I am one of the authors of technity.com. Today, we're going to continue with um, our studies with SC Linux. In our previous class, we've looked at what SC Linux is. We've looked at the reason why we need to enable SC Linux. We've also looked at how SC Linux works. In today's lesson, we're going to look at the SC Linux modes and status and how to know if it's enabled or not. All right. There are three modes of SL Linux. They are the permissive mode, the enforcing mode, and the disabled mode. So SL Linux can be enabled or disabled. And if SL Linux is enabled, it can either be in permissive mode or enforcing mode. If SL Linux is disabled, then it's disabled. So how do you know if SL Linux is enabled or not? So to one of the ways to know that is to check the SL Linux configuration file which is etc sysconfig slinux. So to do that, we can use the cat command. All right. So um, in this file, you check this line. We can see that slinux is in enforcing mode, right? And you can also see the three modes of slinux. Another way to verify slinux status is by using the command sc status right so if you use this command you can check um, slinux information here you can see that sorry you can see that slinux is enabled here and you can also see that this is the current mode of slinux and you can see that it is in enforcing mode well there's another command you can use you can use the get enforce command right you can see that slinux is in enforcing mode so let's talk about SL Linux disabled mode. If SL Linux is in disabled mode, it means that all the syscalls will be allowed when initiated, initiated because the feature is disabled. We talked about that in our previous lesson. The SL Linux binaries and policies are disabled. So nothing filters the system calls. And if, if SL Linux is configured to be disabled from an enabled mode, the system must be restarted so that all, all SL Linux libraries that usually loads with the kernel when it is booted up won't load. Also, if SL Linux is configured to be enabled from a disabled mode, the system must be restarted so that the kernel can load all the SL Linux libraries from boot. To disable SL Linux, just um, check the go into the conf into the configuration file right and then and then you check um you change this enforcing to disabled right then you save and you make sure that you restart your system i'm not going to restart my own system but if you want the changes to take effect, as we just said, you would need to restart your system. All right. So let's talk about the SL Linux permissive mode. If SL Linux is set to permissive mode, whether the syscall meets or doesn't meet the um, SL Linux policy, the syscalls will be allowed to pass through when it is initiated. More so, SL Linux, when enabled, permissive or enforcing, logs its event in this directory, which is var log audit and um, audit audit dot log, right? So this is where SL Linux logs its event. We will understand how to check this log, this um, this file, this log file as we go on, and as we do some examples. Now let's talk about the SL Linux enforcing mode. If SL Linux is in enforcing mode, it means only the system calls that meet the SL Linux policy will be allowed. The syscall that doesn't meet the policies will be denied. SL Linux can be switched from enforcing to permissive mode and vice versa without the need to restart your system, right? So if I want to switch, I can use the command set enforce for example permissive 
me see right so i've been able to switch from enforcing mode to permissive mode without the need to restart the system for me to verify i can just use the command get enforce right you can see that s linux is in permissive mode if i want to switch back to the end to the enforcing mode i will just do set enforce enforcing right and then i can do get enforce you can see that i'm back to the enforcing mode don't forget i can also use the command sc status to check for the status of sc linux you can also set sc linux to permissive or enforcing mode from the configuration file as well all right sc linux so from the configuration file you can change this to either permissive or enforcing, right? So this is um, another way you can you can um, change the S Linux status. All right. So in the next lesson, we're going to look at S Linux policy. We'll be talking about S Linux policy, and we're going to know what this policy is actually. And um, hopefully, we should get our hands dirty. We should start doing the examples in the next lesson. All right. So thank you for watching, and, and please subscribe to this channel. Bye for now.